The family of a University of Tampa student shot last fall has been pleading for answers about who shot their son. And this week, they got them. But the Office of the State Attorney says sending that information was actually a mistake. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell takes us on the twists and turns of this tragedy. 19-year-old Carson Sinfield was shot last September after he approached a car his family believes he likely mistook for his Uber. And attorneys representing his family say, but Lately, law enforcement doesn't seem to care in Florida. Getting information from officials has been tough. But attorney Ralph Fernandez says yesterday they were sent the shooter's name and picture by the state attorney's office after months of being told this person was protected under Marcy's law because of Stand Your Ground. And with this new information, Fernandez says, I'm going to bring the house down. Not only does Fernandez say the shooter and Carson knew each other, but he also claims that their original meeting with Tampa police, he asked the investigators if the shooter had a rough past. So now clean as a whistle. But now that they know the shooter's identity, Fernandez says background checks reveal he's faced weapons charges in the past. A gun charge in a gun case. The state attorney's office says the shooter's information was sent by mistake, saying they, quote, regret this isolated error. But Fernandez says this has just fueled the family's quest for the truth as they work to get more information from Tampa police about what happened that night. I'm going to battle it till I quit breathing. If they go low, like TPD in this case, I'm going to go lower than the bottom of the sea. In Tampa, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. We reached out to TBD about the claims that they have been limited with the information released to the family who says they still haven't gotten a look at the police reports. They said they are actively working to redact sensitive information in these documents, saying in part, quote, the loss of a young life is always devastating. The Tampa Police Department took every step to ensure that the investigation into this young man's death was thorough from beginning to end.